Good evening, friends. It has been a while. I haven't done my thoughtful pause talks or love dinosaur talks or any sort of spiritual offering in a while, and I thought it was about time. And what better time to start than April 1st, uh, which it's actually March 31st, but I don't know what I can do tomorrow. So my son is in bed, and I have the energy. So I'm going to do it now. Uh, so I'm going to give you a little reading from Blaze of Recognition Through the Year with Thomas Merton, Daily Meditations. So I've been working through this, uh, I think, since last April, every day, reading uh, something from today's date and for tomorrow's date. Every day that was my practice at night before bed. So this one is uh, for April 1st. <clears throat> Here's a cool little drawing for April. And uh, here we go. <clears throat> it moved me. I just read it a little while ago. I wanted to share. Thomas Merton. April 1st, Innocent Speech from his book, Raids on the Unspeakable. I came up here from the monastery last night, sloshing through the cornfield, said vespers, and put some oatmeal on the Coleman stove for supper. It boiled over while I was listening to the rain and toasting a piece of bread at the log fire. The night became very dark. The rain surrounded the whole cabin with its enormous virginal myth. A whole world of meaning, of secrecy, of silence, of rumor. Think of it. All that speech pouring down, selling nothing, judging nobody, drenching the thick mulch of dead leaves, soaking the trees, filling the gullies and crannies of the woods with water, washing out the places where men have stripped the hillside. What a thing it is to sit absolutely alone in the forest at night, cherished by this wonderful, unintelligible, perfectly innocent speech, the most comforting speech in the world, the talk that rain makes by itself all over the ridges, and the talk of the watercourses everywhere in the hollows. Once again, that's from Thomas Merton, his book, Raids on the Unspeakable. But anyway, this is a collection of various bits of wisdom and excerpts from his writings, um, one for each day of the year. <clears throat> so, yeah, the innocent speech of the rain. Imagine being in a cabin all alone, in the woods in the dead of night with the rain just pouring all night long in the dark and just enjoying that unpretentious nature of it all selling nothing just drenching the earth feeding the earth replenishing it okay that's it for tonight have a wonderful april end of march if you're watching tonight and uh looking forward to connecting more with my writings or other people's writings um, in the upcoming months. Till next time, take it easy.